Doug, and this is my first and last vlog. And the reason why I'm calling my first and last vlog is I'm not a big fan of vlogging, like, unless you really have something to say, which is what brought me here. Um, so maybe I'll do another one. Maybe I'll never do another one. Maybe this will be the first, this will be the first of many or the last one. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to be um, brief. I decided to do this because I just had a discussion with a friend, uh, kind of a lengthy discussion, a little bit about me before I get into that. Um, I'm a filmmaker. I'm a sometimes photographer. Mostly I do directing and cinematography. Uh, I work full time as a filmmaker. I do this for a living. So those who uh, have been subscribed to my YouTube and really see me sparsely post, I apologize. But it's really hard to be like a, in any place to do YouTube full time is really hard. Um, but it's really hard to do it when you make a living as a filmmaker and you live in New York City. Just to put you in the perspective of, you know, the amount of work that you have to put in a day uh, as a filmmaker doing everything, editing, shooting, directing, uh, every different, every, every job you can think about is really tough. So anyway, so a friend of mine and we just had this kind of back and forth and it's, it's on this idea of perfection and perfection in art, right? And I feel that perfection in art is a fallacy. There is no such thing as being as perfect art. There was no such thing as perfect art. All right, I'm saying that right now. I'm gonna put in big, bold letters. No such thing as perfect art. All right, so wherever you feel right now, some of you just turned it off, some of you just went away, that's fine. But um, for the rest of you that stayed, uh, why I think that. Um, any, it, let's take movies for example, right? If you go to IMDb, right? You, you go write any movie. It doesn't matter who directed it. Spielberg, Kubrick, doesn't matter. Kubrick, right? <coughs> Kubrick, the most meticulous, meticulous filmmaker in history. There's probably no filmmaker who is as meticulous, maybe Cecil B. DeMille, because he did all these big movies and they always had these intricate things going on. But there's no filmmaker that is as meticulous as Kubrick, right? Yet, if you search any Kubrick film on IMDb, you scroll down, there's a little section called Goofs. Click that and you will see all the mistakes made inside any Kubrick movie, any David Fincher movie, any Christopher Nolan movie, any Spielberg movie, and Spielberg is God, God of filmmaking is what I mean. If you don't think he is, like, just, you can leave. Um, but any filmmaker, there, there, there's going to be mistakes, there's going to be errors, there's going to be, something is not going to be just right on it. If you go to any artist and look at their, their artwork, there's some, the finger is off, or this is that, that's not perfect, or this, you know, you look at, like, you take Jack Kirby, right, Jack Kirby, again, super meticulous artist, you see, if you look at any of his work, especially, like, the stuff he did with DC, and all the space stuff, and everything, and how meticulous it is, still, you'll see, like, a, mm, look at that toe is a little off, or this finger's a little off, or look at that nose is a little off, it's not perfect, right, because perfection in art is bullshit. All right, art is organized mess, right? That's what art really is. It's organized mess. It's a mess that is thought out, think out this mess, and you put this mess into someplace, whether you put it in a movie or you put it in a screen, script or you, you draw it. It's just this mess that's organized. And when you put it out to the world, there's people that like your mess, there's people that are gonna hate your mess, right? But it's organized mess. It is not perfection. There is no way you could reach perfection in art because there always, there's always going to be mistakes because human beings are flawed, right? And we're flawed and we make mistakes. That's just how we are. That's how we're built. Um, George Bernard Shaw said in Man and Superman that an artist's job is to show us as we truly are. That art is a reflection upon life, right? We, we know about that. We hear the old saying, um, art reflects life. And human beings are flawed. And since we're flawed, our art is going to be flawed. Right, because we're not perfect ourselves. So when filmmakers or when other artists talk about, oh, I'm a perfectionist, it kind of makes me roll my eyes. And what really is perfection in, in art 
is fear and self-loathing and self-doubt, right? And it is this fear of failure and then sometimes a fear of success, right? Because it's like, oh, what if this people really love it? Can I do it again? I don't know. You know, or is that fear of failure, that fear of fear of not being good enough? And so that is what that means when someone's like, I'm a perfectionist. I'm not ready to put it out. I'm perfectionist. I'm perfectionist. I'm perfectionist. And I'll give you a great example of that. Um, if you ever saw the film Collateral that stars Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx, which is a great Michael Mann film um, that is reeked with um, goofs and mistakes because nothing's perfect. So in that film, Jamie Foxx plays a cab driver. And throughout the whole movie, he's talking about he wants to start his own cab company and he only needs his, you know, he's going to get the drivers and he needs to get the cars and he needs to get this and he needs to get that and he needs to get that. And he's saying it throughout the whole movie. And, and in one part, finally, Tom Cruise says, you know what? If you really wanted to do that, all you needed was a lease on one car and you could have gone from there. You didn't need to have a fleet of car. You didn't need to have this. You didn't need to have that. All you needed was that one step. You know, and I say that to every artist out there, and I'm talking, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this from personal experience. You know, up until maybe a year or so ago, maybe two years ago, I was really like that. Like, I'm a perfectionist, I'm this, I'm that. And I've lost out on, or I've let projects go, go by the wayside because they didn't meet up to some sort of imaginary standard that I had. That's not, that wasn't real. And that's, that's the thing that, that happens to all of us you know, as artists is that we, we, we start defeating our own selves. You know, you get in your own way, you start defeating yourself and you call that self-defeat perfection, right? So we need to start letting go of the idea of perfection. And it doesn't mean letting go the idea of being good or producing good work. It's not, it's not, doesn't mean don't be good. doesn't mean don't just put out bullshit work. That's not what that means. It means get out the idea that there is this perfection, you know, if you make something, right, and you look at it, and you can look at it and go, yeah, I like this, you know, this is good, maybe that's what you need to put out. Mel Gibson, and I'm quoting a lot of people because this is like all going through my head, and I didn't write any of this down, so it's just, I'm just a uh, stream of consciousness, but I was just watching this uh, this interview with him, and I thought it was really good. And in it, he said that, you know, a movie should have three things. And I, and I say this, this translates to all art. Uh, it should have three things, the three E's, which is educate, elevate, and entertain. Or entertain, elevate, educate in whatever order, right? And I think that that is the best way to convey your art, right? entertain because you're making something you want to entertain people whether it's entertaining them with beauty whether you're grossing them out or something there's some form of entertainment right you want to educate them right you want to tell a story you're saying something you have something to say and you want to elevate them meaning that you want people to walk away with an understanding of the story you told or an understanding of something that you're conveying in your art right and now we're not always going to hit all three Right, because then people are like, you can sit there like those, those, those again, those defeatists, you know, those. There's like a, a Taoist saying called the monsters of the mind. Right, you can start letting the monsters of the mind defeat you. Where you're like, well, I didn't get all three. No, you don't always need all three. Two out of three ain't bad. One out of three, you might want to go back to the drawing board. But two out of three ain't bad. So if you if you manage to entertain and educate, then you win. If you manage to educate and elevate, you win. If you get all three, good for you. Mazel tov, you know. But don't let yourself be distracted from getting your work out there. And this is something, I'm putting this out there for me. I'm putting this out there for every artist I know, every filmmaker, every painter, every uh, comic book artist, every person I know that, that wants to pursue art. Don't worry about something the idea of perfection right the only time you need to be perfect is if you're like a surgeon surgeons need to be perfect all right i just watched uh i just I, I watched the movie hidden figures those women when they were making you know this this thing about nasa and they had to be exact with them they had to be perfect that's where perfect that's where it matters where people's lives matter lives are at stake here you need to be perfect you can't be 
a, a smidgen off. You can't be like, oh, the toe is out. The you can't be imperfect in those worlds. But in this world, in this world of art, where art is about perception, and it's not, a, you know, it's, it's all it's about. It's about perception, the way people see it. And people are either going to love it or they're going to hate it. And you know what? It's better if they love it or hate it. You know what? If you, if you try to please everybody, all you'll make is mediocre work, right? You want to make a craftsman chair. This chair I'm sitting in was handmade, right? Someone handmade this chair and it was amazing, right? And uh, that's what you want. You want a handmade chair. You don't want an Ikea chair, right? Ikea chairs, anybody can make it. Anybody can build it. You follow instructions, you got it. A handmade chair, you need skill for that. And, and the handmade chair is not perfect. This chair is not perfect. It squeaks. It's got all kinds of little itches and problems with it. But that's just what it is. You know, it's craftsmanship. And that's... The video got cut off. And I got a chance to look at it. And um, at first, I was... I kind of caught myself, guys, because I was really about to re-record this entire thing. I didn't like the angle that I was at. I was like, oh, man, I look really short. And um, I look like I don't really have a neck. It's kind of weird. And I was like, maybe I should just re-record it because, you know. But then I'm, I'm watching and I'm listening to it. And I'm like, man, I'm conveying my message. I'm saying what I want to say. And I caught it. I was just like, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm doing exactly what... I just said we shouldn't do. I'm going to finish this up for you guys. Um, just by saying, hopefully this vlog has done the three things I wanted to do, which is entertain, educate, elevate. If I've given you an education and elevated you, great. If I didn't entertain you, I apologize. If I entertain you, entertained you and educated you, great. If I didn't elevate you, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Um... And I hope you guys just take this, take, you know, this is just my opinion, like everything else, like every other vlog, it's just my thoughts. Um, so it's not something to take to heart. It's not something to be really serious about. I just like, I, I recently lost a friend over how people, people being so serious about stuff that's honestly not that serious or not about them and taking it personal. And and so don't feel like I'm somehow attacking you or anything. If you, if you do see yourself in the words that I'm saying, realize that this is a self-reflection as well. So I'm talking about myself as well as people I see. So this is not an attack on anybody. This is a reflection. Like art, art is a reflection. I'm reflecting myself upon you. And hopefully if you see yourself in those words, you, you know what you have to do. Put your, sh put your shit out there. Excuse my language. Put your stuff out there. Put your work out there and see what happens. You know, there are people out there who want to hear your stuff. They don't even know they want to see your stuff. They don't even know they, wanna, they, they, they want your stuff. They don't even know it. Because you haven't even put it out there yet. So let's all put, it, let's put our work out there. I want to put my work out. I want to push my work more. And I have plans to do that this year to really push more of my personal stuff and you know it might be taking a hit financially but i'm gonna do it and i hope that you guys put more of your own stuff out there and you know put the link put put links to your work below i'll follow you guys after doing this first vlog i might do another blog i actually now i like it. i get i get the point of it i get why people do it the whole getting something off your chest kind of thing is really really cool uh it's uh it's cathartic which filmmaking is cathartic in its own sense so this can be another form of catharsis. Um, the next one I'll probably do actually will be, again, something a bit more educational and less ranty. This was a rant. <laughs> this was a rant in all its splendor and joy. Thank you, guys.